Good afternoon, it is Jane. And on Healthier You Today, we're going to talk about social support. Uh, whether you believe it or not, it's ex exceptionally important and almost essential for weight loss. All right, let's open up with the medical disclaimer. Always check with your physician before starting any exercise or dietary program. Information here is my personal research into different health topics and is not to be considered medical advice. All right. So you've decided that you wanted to work on losing weight or even possibly gaining weight. Either way, social support is extremely important and it's almost a necessity for success. So finding that support um, is going to be crucial sometimes. You want to build your team of support around you. And some of the ideas that you can use um, for these we'll discuss. If you don't have a weight loss support team, use these strategies to create one. If you do, take advantage of your team's help and let them know how much their support means to you. According to research, having friends or family members who are supportive of your healthy eating and exercise goals is important for the long-term weight loss success. Support can be emotional. Just having someone to have a shoulder to lean on when you're really discouraged. Practical. Like someone to watch your kids if you need to exercise. You know, inspiring. Maybe it's an exercise partner that is going to encourage you to get out and move on those days when your favorite TV shows surely seem like a better option. Tell your family and friends that you appreciate their help and would really like it. Uh, you may ask your partner to walk with you or your best friend to be there when you just need to vent. Sometimes we just need to vent, you know. You can also expect some unsupportive behaviors. It's not, it's not uncommon for partners or your companions to feel threatened when you lose weight, and they may even try to sabotage you. However, your mother may feel hurt if you don't eat her famous dessert. My mother-in-law was really bad about, you're not eating enough. What, you didn't like what I fixed? I'll fix something different. I mean, it went on and on. And just like the whole thing, she was the type of woman that you had to have two different desserts at dinner. Okay? I would pass on the desserts, and it upset her no end. So it finally got to the point that I would cut into that pie, or whatever it was, the smallest portion I could get, just so she would quit harping on me about it. So you want to keep that in mind. Um, she's not always going to understand that, you know. Of course, at the time, we didn't realize she was starting with her dementia or Alzheimer's. So I'm sure that was part of it. So, you know, you never know. But also, um, your friends may want you to skip that workout to go out for pizza or dinner. Be strong, folks. Remind them that you are changing your lifestyle. You're not changing your feelings for them. Give them specific ways they can help you reach your goals and share that journey with them. Consider forming or participating in a weight loss group. Ask friends, co-workers, whatever, if they would join you in on it. I know at our church there are a local group of women that go to Weight Watchers and Silver Sneakers together. So that is um, a way to build and maintain that support network. You may also want to consider adding in a professional, like a dietitian or even a certified health coach, personal trainer. Stay in touch. Stay in touch. When we overeat, it's easy to feel ashamed and to really isolate ourselves. But support is crucial on getting us back on track. Remember, that's one mistake. It doesn't mean that you failed. It just means you blew it that day. Pick yourself up. Move on. 
So um, answer phone calls, emails, even when you're feeling down about it. Text, those kind of things. Recognize the importance of give and take. Express your appreciation for the support, but also be ready to return the favor for others to help them achieve their wellness goals, regardless of whatever those wellness goals are, you know? And learn who is best in what role. You may have someone that's great at cheering you on when you don't feel like exercising. But then you may have that buddy that you can vent to, but you can't talk to them about that you don't want to exercise, and they're not going to encourage you, but they'll encourage you to vent, get out those feelings. So find the person that helps you the most. If you need to, if your partner's not a good walking partner for you, find someone who is. Maybe it's a neighbor. Maybe it's a friend, you know? And don't feel bad about telling your significant other, you're not cutting the mustard, buddy. <sighs> I'm kidding. Just tell them that you need more. Um, sometimes they'll step up for you. Sometimes they won't. But you may need to learn to find a new partner for that portion. It may just be a co-worker to walk with. Maybe a friend that'll help you plan and cook those healthy meals. Because maybe your you know, partner is not supportive in that. So, keep those in mind. Join in. There are a lot of community organizations, events, those kind of things, exercise classes, or you can actually get some get-togethers that have more activities in them. So consider doing that. Um, keep in mind, relying on willpower is a frequent frequent recipe for failure. Instead, look for that social support to help you with your fitness and your health, health goals. Everyone knows how difficult it is to change your behavior, to stick to that behavior change over the long haul. So, keep at it. Find that person that will help you with that. Um, sometimes we blame our behavior change um, simply on a matter of willpower and therefore we're going to blame ourselves when we overindulge in sweets or miss a few workouts. Willpower is very limited resource for many of us. Um, keep in mind, willpower is not the one thing that's going to help you. There are some times that there are all kinds of um, things that you need help with. It may be you just need someone to help you with the um, support, emotional support of those things. Um, willpower is very limited. Resource, sometimes you're overwhelmed by stress, fatigue, or even enjoyment of things that aren't necessarily good for us. I mean, come on. You know, there are things that happen. So your friends, your social support can help you with those things when you are having issues. But it also means that you also need to be available to help them. So here are some strategies that you can consider using. Um, for developing even just an exercise routine for you. But it can be helpful for any type of behavioral, um, healthy behavior change. Add social element to the exercise program. Maybe it means you get there a little early and just chat with people about it, you know, before the workout, whatever. Ask your friends, members, and family members to be encouraging and positive about your exercise program. And also, ask for reminders from your family and friends about your physical activity goals or even appointments. Um, find something that is an enjoyable thing for you, whether it is, you know, physical, something that is physical that is enjoyable. Dancing, hiking, maybe it's pickleball. I mean, you never know. Maybe it's Tai Chi, whatever. Find some friends that'll help you. Line dancing, you know, 
those are some things. Um, and make sure that when you do those exercises, if you are counting on someone to help you or to come with you, make sure that they are reliable and a very enjoyable exercise partner. <laughs> okay, set up some fun contests with some base rewards, like, uh, you know, maybe it may be something like uh, meeting at the high school, um, school track and just walking 10 times without an absence is an example of a good pros progress goal or process goal. Maybe you can make the goal that, uh, hey, maybe she'll treat you to a movie ticket. Who knows? Make these games up yourself. And just keep in mind that it's very helpful to have the acknowledgement that um, people are trying to help you with those things. But sometimes lack of support can um, actually manifest in unintended sabotage, such as your husband or spouse may bring your favorite sweets in an effort to cheer you up when you're struggling. You know, I mean, he ha he had the right thing in mind, but you know, maybe you need to indulge in that sweet treat with him. Say, thank you, honey, for helping me with this, but this is the way that I can use um, a better choice next time. You know, chocolate-covered strawberries. At least you're getting some fruit in there. Some of the successful strategies that you can consider to help you with those behavior changes are also be a role model. Even if it's after dinner walks, even if you're going by yourself, maybe you can encourage your kids to go with you or family members to go with you. It's a great time for conversation. Talk about things that you never know, you know. If you are consistently with it and you consistently offer, does anyone, anyone want to join me? You may be surprised that they do join you. So expect that. And so um, even if it's just five minutes, ten minutes you're out there walking, you know, whatever helps. So um, include your family, your husband, your spouse in changing your behavior as to help support you in modifying yours. Don't expect them to change their behavior. They may not. They may never. So work on you. Make small changes. Maybe it's you're ready to drink less soda if you drink soda. Maybe it'd be you're not going to eat those cookies. Or maybe you've decided you're going to take a small walk every day after dinner. That doesn't mean that others are on the same page. Here are, you know, those are just a few things that um, you can consider doing. Sometimes having that someone who you can just talk to and, and give them that emotional burden, talk with them about it, about the weight, the weight loss, or the struggle that you're having with it, sometimes that's all you need is just someone who will listen to you and help you. And the, always, and the big thing is you want to make sure that you have someone who can make you accountable. Sometimes that's all you need, someone to help you be accountable to what you're doing. And maybe it's just someone giving you a word of encouragement. Ask them for that. Don't be afraid to. Um, if you have other people rooting for you, it's much easier to attain those goals, so consider that. And always, if you are not having good success, and you know maybe your expectations are too high, you know, maybe you're expecting to lose too much or too fast, you know, or, you know, maybe it's the exercise. You think you should, you've been doing it enough. You, you should be seeing some weight loss. Ask for an expert's advice if you need to. Consult a weight management daughter, doctor if you need to. And sometimes they can help you generate healthy and realistic weight loss routine. Um, 
So yeah, those are some things that you consider do you should consider doing. But keep in mind, emotional support is extremely important when you are trying to lose weight. Extremely important. Because if you have someone constantly bashing you, bashing every attempt that you're doing, or every time you make a mistake, they want to give you a hard time about it, that person's not in your corner to support you. So maybe you need to turn to someone else. Those are just a few suggestions. I hope you enjoyed this. We will again tackle another subject. Um, and as you know, Connie and I, with just another stitch, have been, have been doing the weight loss um, thing once a month on her lives on Saturdays. Um, I'm hoping that once she's had a good break and gotten some rest and things settled in her head, then we'll start that up again. As always, you can always turn to either one of us if you need somebody that's going to give you an add a girl or an add a boy, you know. Um, I'm more than willing to help people with that emotional support however I can. Maybe you need to ask somebody, one of us, help me be accountable. Check on me this many times a week. See how I'm doing. So, yeah, there's that. As always, I'll see you again next time. Be kinder to yourself. Be kinder to one another. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.